been a whirlwind season for you the way it started training camp and, and all the uncertainty that led coming into it? Yeah, I mean, you know, I obviously didn't expect to get traded and when I did it was a great opportunity and, you know, the city of Toronto was great. Uh, I knew what I was getting into or coming into, so, um, you know, as far as expectations go, obviously we fell short, but at the same token, uh, I was happy to be, you know, a part of Toronto and this organization. Yeah, some might not welcome coming to a micro, a magnifying glass fishbowl existence that it is. Why uh, did you, your wife and family, uh, enjoy coming to Toronto? Uh, the city itself, uh, you know, we were in D.C. where there was a media circus beginning to form. Uh, you know, we've been in a big city before, it was easy to adapt and let's face it, when you get traded once before, nothing really phases you after that. So uh, I think in that sense it was easier and as far as, you know, being in the hockey capital, the world essentially. Um, you know, yes, the same questions, media, there's just more of them, that's all. You look at what you had in Washington and what you have here and just realize how hard a sport this is to succeed in and that everything really has to, to land in right. I mean, you had superstars uh, in Washington and still weren't able to win. Yeah, uh, winning the NHL is difficult, and especially, uh, you know, obviously making the playoffs is the first step. Sustaining that is even more difficult. And, uh, you know, we had the right core group of guys, and um, we fell into, you know, it would be a losing streak, and it turned into a rut, and we couldn't get out of it. And I think we're headed in the right direction, and hopefully next year with uh, a new coach and uh, a new attitude, so to speak, it's, it's going to be beneficial for us. And looking at it in terms of hindsight, could, could you see any of this happening back in mid-February when all seemed to be okay with this hockey club and postseason was definitely the talk? Uh, it's easier when you look back. Yeah. <laughs> um, but but no, coming out of the All-Star break, no. I mean, obviously you had you no know, foresight of what was going to happen. You know, we are poised to make playoffs, and it's unfortunate. Uh, I take uh, quite a bit of responsibility being an older guy of what transpired, and Unfortunately, we weren't able to turn it around. We talked to you when times were tough, and it was you were, you were as frustrated as most. And, and I guess you know, talking whether it be penalty kill or whatnot, it's just a matter of, of hard work. Uh, is it going to take a great deal of tinkering here to get you guys going? Because of talking to all the guys, the core pieces appear to be here. Yeah, I, you know, obviously, I I know what it takes to win. I don't know what it takes to build a team, so that's out of my control. But as far as the group of guys that we had, uh, there was no reason why we couldn't have made playoffs. I, you know, obviously this organization is going to try and do everything they can in the offseason to put together what they think can make the playoffs. Uh, in saying that, it's obviously never the management or the coaches, I think personally, that, you know, should have all the responsibility of, of the blame of not making the playoffs. It's the players in the room. Uh, at the same token, I feel really bad of what happened to head coach Ron Wilson. I mean, that, you know, we play better, that doesn't happen. Um, and at the same token, we're going to have to go out and work just as hard next year for Randy. Was it a difficult year at times for you when you think about the hand injury and uh, sustained down in Dallas and, and then the knee injury to end the season? Uh, yeah, anytime you get injuries, it's difficult. Uh, it's how you come back from that that I think. Uh, proves what character and what type of player you are. Um, you know, everybody's going to have injuries, and it's how you deal with it that completes you as a player. Do you look back on the season, the success you had on the draw, despite those injuries, as as a positive moving forward? Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, I started the year very well and kind of got caught in the rut in the middle. And when a new coach came in, it was a great opportunity for me. Uh, you know, as far as faceoffs, they're you know hopefully always going to be a staple for me and uh, just continue to get better as a player. Let all forwards and hits on this team. Was it, were you as more physical this season than as you have been in your career? Or is this just a continuation of what you've done? I think it's just a continuation. I just got credit for more hits in different buildings this year. <laughs> yeah, you're sure. This isn't an easy building as well to get credits for. Uh, finally, moving forward, uh, what do you do this off season to get better towards next? Um, you just prepare. I mean, individually, there's the same routine that I go through and make sure I'm ready to go for an entire season, be in shape, uh, continue to get stronger, and, uh, you know, as far as on-ice stuff, work on my skill and just be that much more of a, a complete player.